Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we are here for another severe weather breakdown. Now today, we're going to be talking about an ongoing severe weather outbreak bringing damaging winds, large hail, and even a few tornadoes to a certain portion of the United States. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the Storm Prediction Center outlook for today where we have a slight risk of severe weather across portions of the upper western Midwest. Tornado threat for today. If you're in that green area, you have a 2% chance to see a tornado in your town. This includes portions of extreme northeast Nebraska, extreme northwest Iowa, extreme eastern South Dakota, extreme eastern North Dakota, and extreme western Minnesota. Damaging wind threat for today. If you're in that yellow area, you have a 15% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles an hour or higher in your town, so make sure to look out for that. Hail threat for today. If you're in that yellow area, you have a 15% chance to see hail of one inch or larger in your town. Now, moving on to tomorrow, we have a slight risk of severe weather for portions of the upper Midwest. Tornado threat for tomorrow is quite significant. If you're in that brown area, you have a 5% chance to see a tornado in your town. That includes areas from Minneapolis back up through Duluth up into Canada. We could see an upgrade to a 10% hatch risk, which it has been a long time since we've seen, so I'll keep you guys posted, but we definitely could see a couple of isolated strong tornadoes in this event, I think. Damaging wind threat for tomorrow, if you're in that yellow area, you have a 15% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles an hour or higher in your town. Hail threat for tomorrow, if you're in that yellow area, you have a 15% chance to see hail of one inch or larger in your town, but if you're in that black circle, you have at least a 10% chance to see hail of two inches or larger in your town, which is large destructive hail, so make sure to look out for that. Now, moving on to Friday, we don't have any risks of severe weather, so let's go ahead and move on to what the NAM model is showing here for the next several days. You can see right now we've got some thunderstorms into central Montana and into portions of Virginia as well, and some of these thunderstorms in portions of Montana actually could bring some snow later tonight. Yes, you heard me correctly. In the mountain peaks of Montana, we definitely could be talking about some significant snow totals, but we're going to get into that a little bit later on in this forecast. As we go into tomorrow, we could be talking about some severe thunderstorms once again across portions of Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. I think that would mostly just bring a damaging wind threat, but by 7 p.m., look at this. The NAM has decided that we're going to see supercells pretty much from Oklahoma all the way back up into Minnesota, and if that happened, that could definitely lead to a big-time severe weather or even potentially a tornado outbreak, so look out for that. Finally, watch his warnings and advisories. That pink box there in Montana, that is a winter storm warning, the first one of the year here in the United States. If you're in that area, we are expecting significant snow totals. We are expecting some areas in 9,000 feet or above to see two or more inches of snow on top of what you already have, which is a quite a bit. In fact, it's snowing in some of those areas right now, interestingly enough. Other than that, though, it's pretty calm right now, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.